Hi again, this is Jeff, your protopie expert, answering your protopie questions. Today's question comes from Jonathan. He asked us, is it possible to format an inputted number as a currency amount with a thousand separator? Yeah, it is, and I'm gonna show you how. My Pi here represents a mock payment app, and I'm on the screen where I want to send somebody some money. So let's say I want to send Jane, I want to send her $5, I want to input 500, and I want to have Protopi format that right here in the middle here to say $5 in with a dollar sign in front of it. First thing we want to do is we want to capture user's input, and we do that with an input field. I'm going to put it right here. It doesn't really matter what it looks like, we're going to hide this later anyway, but for now I'm going to have it visible so you can see how this works. Now you see when I preview this, if I tap on the placeholder, I get the keyboard, uh, but that's the wrong keyboard. I want the numeric keyboard. So we need to change some properties of the input field here. So with the input field selected on the stage, scroll down in your properties, and under keyboard options, change the type to number. Now when I preview this, and I tap on the input field, I get the numeric keypad. That's great. Secondly, I'd like that keypad to appear as soon as the scene starts. So any time a scene starts and you want to do something, we use the start trigger. And on start, I want to give focus to the input layer. Focus is what causes the keyboard to appear. So when this field gains focus, the keyboard appears. If I give focus when it starts, the keyboard appears automatically. One more thing I need to deal with, if I tap outside of this field, that field loses focus. And in doing so, the keyboard disappears. Uh, I would have to tap the field again to get the keyboard back, but we're not going to have this field visible, so I don't want this field to ever lose focus. So we need to make some more changes to the configuration of the field. So if we go down here all the way to the bottom, I'm going to uncheck both of these focus out options. The field will not lose focus when I tap the return key, and the field will not lose focus when I tap outside of the input layer. Now if I preview this, it doesn't matter where I tap in here, that field is not losing focus. At this point now, I've been able to capture the input, and if I want to send $5, I'm going to type 500. I want Protopie to pick up whatever's been typed into this field and format it and display it here. I'm going to use the detect trigger for this. Detect will fire whenever a particular property of an object changes, and in this case, I care about whenever the text property of the input field changes. And then I want to output text. I want text to go into this field. So I'm going to use a text response on the transfer amount layer. And since I don't know what the user has typed, I need to do a fill in the blanks pattern or better known as a formula. So if I tap formula here, I can put something in my formula. Now what do I want to do here? If we go over to Protopie's website, we go to the learn tab, we go to documentation, we go to formulas, and then functions. And under type conversion, you're going to see this third one down is called format. And what format does is it takes in a number and then it outputs that number formatted according to a pattern that I specify. And that pattern has a few key pieces. It has one or more of the hash character, which indicates the whole number portion of my format. It includes one or more of the zero character, and that includes decimal places. So if you want two decimal places, you use two zero characters you need a decimal separator in the case of where you have decimal places. In Europe and some other parts of the world, they use the comma. In North America, we use the dot. And if you want to have a separator, you'd have to specify a separator character. And where that separator appears depends on how many hash characters follows it. So in this case, if I want a thousand separator, I have my separator character followed by three of the hash characters. And if I want to use the comma, it's the same thing, comma, with the three hash characters. If I wanted a hundred separator, that's this example down here, it would be my separator followed by two of the hash characters. I want this format right here. This is common for a dollar amount with a thousand separator, so I'm just going to copy this. Now in my formula here, I'm going to use format. The number that it takes in is whatever I've typed into this field. So I'm going to grab that input field, I'll press the dot character to get a list of all its properties and choose the text property. That's my first parameter. Then using a comma, now to do my second parameter, this will be the format that I want and I'm just going to paste what I copied over here. And let's see what happens with that. Let's preview that and let's put in 500. Okay, my format is working, but I'm getting 
500.00. And this is working as expected because Protopy is formatting the number 500 to two decimal places. That's exactly what my format has specified. The problem is I need to give it 5.00 for it to format correctly. You see it does when I, when I put that in here. Uh, but there's no point button on this keypad on here. So I'm going to need to somehow insert this into my input before I pass it onto the format. Now this is easy math. I just need to divide 500 by 100 to get 5.00. So we can do that right in our formula right here. So we're going to take whatever has been input here and I'm going to divide, that's the slash character, by 100. Now you might be wondering why we use slash for division here. There's no divide button on a standard keyboard, so programmers a long time ago all decided that we can use slash for division. Uh, similarly, if you're doing multiplication, we use the asterisk because there's no multiply button either. But we want to divide, so we're going to use slash. Say okay to that. Let's see what that looks like. 500. Alright, we're getting our format, but I'm missing the dollar sign at the front of this. So we can also add that in in our formula. We want to make sure we're at the front of the formula, and I'm just going to tack on static text here. To do that, I need to use a double quote, and whatever I put between double quotes, that's going to be the text that gets tacked on. In my case, I want the dollar sign. If you were doing this for another region of the world, say you were in the UK and you wanted to use pounds, you would put that here, or let's say you want to use euros, you would put that here. Whatever uh, currency symbol you want to use, put it here close it with double quotes, and then I need to join that to the output of the format with plus. Now let's preview this. Five, zero, zero. And good, and let's see if I do $6,500.49, and there we go, I'm getting the thousand separating showing up there. So that's working. The last little bit of business here is I want to hide this input field. I don't want to see it. Because it's this, is, we're just putting this here to capture the input, but we don't actually want to display that. Uh, two ways you can hide it. We, we can, of course, just set its opacity to zero. And if we preview that again, that's going to work just fine. Uh, but there's a problem with doing it that way. And that's if, let's say I save this and I don't look at this again for weeks or months or even years. Uh, and I come back to this and this is what I see. I might not remember that there was a hidden input field that uh, I was working with here, or even more important, let's say I pass this work on to somebody else, they might not realize that I'm working with a hidden input field. So instead of turning its opacity down to zero, what I like to do in this kind of a situation is just position it off screen. So that way it's immediately visible when I look at this in Protopie, but we don't see it when we preview. This signals to me that, okay, well, I've, there's a reason why I have this input field off screen. I'm probably working with a hidden input field. Or if someone else looks at it, hopefully they make the same realization. But there, when I preview this, I want to send Jane $5. I'm going to type in 500, and it's formatting exactly the way I want. Or let's say I want to send Jane $1,234.56. This formats exactly the way we want with our 1,000 separator. There you go. Easy as pie number formatting. If you run into a snag with one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, just check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.